I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand the intense hate people have for gays. I don't know if anybody but the gays have noticed that we are constantly on the defensive and it is the people that hate us that are constantly attacking us. We just want to be left alone. That's all. If your religion say says that it's a sin, fine. It's our sin, not yours. It has nothing to do with you. And if your religion says that the reason things happen in the world because gays are allowed to marry, why would that be the catalyst that causes things to happen in the world and not straight child molesters or straight wife beaters or rapists or murderers or senators and congressmen and presidents who have extramarital affairs or priests that molest little boys. Why would people who just want to be left alone in their loving homes, why would that be the catalyst for the apocalypse? Why that one small thing that was mentioned once in the Bible, I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. If you want to bring religion into it, fine. You're going to anyway. No one's going to be able to stop you. But please, stop and think about it. Seriously, think about it. If the only part of religion that gays see is a constant attack on us and the hate that that seething blistering hate why would we want to be a part of that and don't say it's out of love because you know what I don't see love in there anywhere when you tell us that we're going to hell Judge not lest ye be judged. If you're going to use the Bible, we can use it right back at you. Jesus loved everybody. Everybody. He was friends with prostitutes and adulteresses and the homeless and the, and the sick. Yet you use his name to justify your hate. And that's what it is. That's what it comes down to, is you are justifying your hate through your religion. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Don't expect us to come running to you. Why would we, why would we run to that? It's ugly. It's ugly. The only side of religion that you have ever shown us is the part where you are condemning us to hell. So I'm trying to understand. Your hate's not going to change us. There's nothing you can do about who we are. Yet you constantly try. You constantly try. Why would... Now, I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in Christianity. I don't believe in God. And I, if Jesus actually did exist, I don't believe that he was the son of God. I think he was a great humanitarian. But let's just say from a religious point of view, why would God create an entire group of people with a majority that actually love him and praise him and go to church and teach their children 
about God, why would why would he create an entire group of people just to condemn them to hell? Now I know what you're going to say. God doesn't condemn people. People condemn people. People condemn themselves to hell by the choices that they make. It's none of your business. That's what it comes down to. It's none of your business. It has nothing to do with you. And it seems like the only thing that you are lacking in this world is some kind of fulfillment. And the only way that you can do it is to jump on the bad bandwagon of hate and continue to spread it. That makes you so ugly. I didn't have a single say in your marriage, in your straight, taken for granted marriage. So who the hell gives you the right to have a say in mine?